Hi! In this video, I'm going to unbox and test the Maker Heart Just Mic 4. This is a USB audio mixer. A digital audio mixer is a hardware that you can connect to your computer to convert your analog audio signals into digital signals. So you can either transmit live or you can record using a digital audio workstation software. This gadget is popular with YouTubers, podcasters, and musicians that perform online. So, how does it differ from an audio interface? An audio interface, you can record uh, multi-tracks into your computer depending on the type of audio interface that you have. I have the Zoom H5 which has four track recording. So I can record four tracks separately on a computer. I can record my vocals on track one. I can record the piano on track two. I can record a ukulele on track three. And I can record another instrument on track four. This audio mixer is kinda like an audio interface, but it can only record on a stereo track. Meaning I can have four inputs a microphone for my vocals, a piano, another two instruments, but I can only record that into one stereo track with left and right channels. That's the difference between an audio mixer and an audio interface. Now let's check this audio mixer, the Just Mic 4 from Maker Heart. This is the instructions manual. They included a cute sticker, okay? This is the actual mixer. On the front panel, you can see four switches with labels 48 volts, no power, and 1.5 volt plug-in power. On the right part of the mixer, you can see an LED indicator if your mixer is connected to a computer. On the next four switches, you can see letters L and R. That means you can assign where your audio goes, to the left or to the right or to both. There are five sliders at the bottom. The first four sliders are for the volume of each input and the fifth slider is for the volume of the mixed audio. The four LEDs at the bottom are indicators if the channels are on mute. On the top part of the mixer are the 3.5mm ports for auxiliary, mic 2 and 3 and 4, and the last port is for audio output, which you can connect to an external speaker. Then there is the USB port for connecting to a computer. You can also connect this to a mobile phone or a tablet using an OTG adapter. On the bottom is a headphone port if you want to monitor your audio mix using headphones. The next port is for mic 1. And this is the USB port for connecting to the included AC adapter or you can also use a power bank to power the unit. It means you can mix anywhere you want as long as you have a power bank. Also included in the package is an AC adapter. You can connect this to an AC outlet. This is a This is the 3.5 mm to XLR cable. This is the USB cable for connecting to a computer or for powering your unit. For those who are not familiar with this, there are different kinds of microphones for different kinds of uses. This is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. I use this for voice over recording. If I'm going to use this with this mixer, I'm going to switch on the 48 volts because this kind of microphone runs on 48 or 24 volt phantom power. It will not work without 
phantom power. This is a dynamic microphone. This is mostly used for live performances because it doesn't distort even if you shout. If I use this kind of microphone in this mixer, I will put the switch on the no power. It doesn't need phantom power for it to work. I have here a digital piano. The stereo output is a 3.5 millimeter. So I can plug it here and then switch the 1.5 volt plug-in power. Now I'm going to test this. I'll use a power bank to power the unit. So I'll get the USB cable. Plug it here. This has power already. So this is my voiceover microphone. I'm going to plug it here. But I will use the included XLR to 3.5 mm cable. Okay, mic, mic two. I'll switch on the 48 volts. Then plug it here, then turn it on. The next will be the piano. Switch the piano off first, then connect it to the auxiliary. The piano needs 1.5 volts. Turn on the piano. I'll get my headphones. First, the uh, I will test the condenser mic. Hello, 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 hello. It's working. Hello, 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 hello. Turn it down. Then I'll test the piano. It's good, it's good, it's working. Now I'm going to try to record the output of this maker to this digital recorder. This is a Zoom Zoom F1. I will connect the line in to the output. Okay, I'll press record. would be connecting the maker heart just mic 4 to a computer I'm going to power this up with the USB power bank 
I will connect the Just Mic 4 to the USB port of my computer. I will connect the condenser microphone to one of the mic inputs and put the power to 48 volt phantom power. I launched Adobe Audition, then set the input to just mic 4. Then I'll arm the record. Then I'll press the record button. I use this mixer to connect to a mobile phone or a tablet. And then I connected it to a computer. Another possible use for this mixer is when you want to connect an XLR mic to your DSLR. Since most DSLRs have 3.5mm mic input, you cannot just connect an XLR mic to your camera. Even if you have the XLR to 3.5mm cable, you cannot use this XLR mic directly to your camera because most DSLRs does not provide phantom power. With this mixer, you can use this XLR mic to connect to your camera. I'll show you. First, I'll connect the USB power to a power bank. And then, connect any XLR mic to the mixer. And then use a 3.5 millimeter male to male audio cable and connect it to the output. And there you go. My, my DSLR is picking up signal from my microphone. And since this mixer has four inputs, you can connect four microphones and mix it to feed to your DSLR camera. I think this mixer is good because it's very handy. You can power this on an AC adapter or you can directly connect it to your power bank. If I want to, I can broadcast anywhere as long as I have internet. And I can connect this to a mobile phone using an OTG adapter or using a TRS to TRRS adapter. My review of the Maker Heart just mic 4 and just mixer they are both good they are aimed at different kinds of users like this is for podcasters and this is for singers because it has echo both are made of plastic but it's, it's well made i like this better because it has a one fourth inch threaded hole compared to this i just wish they put a threaded hole here too and for both packages, I wish they included a longer 3.5 millimeter to XLR cable. Final verdict, I'm not going to send this back. This is both mine, okay? Thank you, Vison. This is not available in the Philippines yet. But if you want to order, you can contact me directly.